Reasoned Answers is growing nicely and more importantly reaching Muslims while equipping Christians. My sincere thank you to everyone who has helped to make that happen. Keep sharing my videos and spreading the word on and off YouTube. I truly think this is the start of something special and will be making a big difference in the Muslim world. As the channel grows, however, comments consume more and more of my time. As such, it's time to lay down some ground rules. If you are referred to this video via a comment, please watch until the end to know what I expect. This channel is dedicated to the intellectual exchange of ideas between adults. If you want to play games, you're in the wrong place. I don't have time to babysit anyone, so if you insist on acting like a child, you'll be treated like one and put in time out. First, for the legitimate seeker. That is, one who is unsure of their religious beliefs and genuinely seeking truth. The best way to contact me is via email. My address is listed in the description box of every video. Anything said via email will be kept in strict confidence. For everyone, regardless of your beliefs, please be respectful and refrain from name calling. Maybe insulting people is a good argument in your world. But here in the adult world, you just look like an ignoramus with no valid argument to offer. Furthermore, lying and deception of any form will not be tolerated. Don't try it. For those who want to dispute my argument, first understand that I conduct scholarly research before I say anything, and expect more in reply than an unsubstantiated opinion. I can be persuaded to change my mind, but saying, you're an idiot, or you're a liar, isn't going to do it. In debate and philosophy classes, students are often taught to summarize the opponent's argument to their satisfaction before they are allowed to reply. I won't require that much, but I do expect you to demonstrate that you watched the video before you critique it. Summarize the points that I made that you want to respond to, or write in the video you said blah blah so I know what you're replying to. Don't just state your opinion. Cite scholarly sources or give detailed analysis of the primary texts. Finally, for Muslims, I know you're going to want to share the brilliant attack on the Bible you heard from Zach or Nike. Don't bother. I've heard them all a million times, and guess what? They aren't brilliant or even competent. Furthermore, attacking the Bible does nothing to defend Islam. If Islam is true, you should be able to defend it on its own merit. The fact you can't is quite telling. If you insist on posting your silly attack, I'll simply ignore it until you first engage with the argument advanced in my video. Failure to follow these guidelines will result in your post being ignored or deleted. Persistent violation may result in a ban, although I certainly hope that won't be necessary. Thank you for your support and cooperation in this matter. God bless you, and may the love of Jesus be with you all.